going old school today and talking to myself on my phone in my car. It's been a minute and I'm feeling like perhaps I need to make uh, this a regular practice again to express myself. Um, you know, what's been interesting about, I've been thinking a lot about how the world's been changing in the last, I mean, it changes all the time, but really in the last five years, it feels accelerated and more potent, the changes that we experience. I think one of the major changes that we're reconciling with is a lot of changes around commuting and how we spend our time alone or with each other. Uh, the pandemic in particular, you know, you had a lot of situations of people spending extended time together that usually don't or being apart in ways that you're not used to. And I'm realizing for me, as my life has shifted and I can't fully speak for everyone else's experience, but I know that as my life has shifted to working from home more and no one in my family has extroverted feeling, uh, in terms of who I connect with that I've been needing to make, uh, considered movements, deliberate, deliberate movements to integrating extroverted feeling into my life more. That means connecting, building rapport, building community, all of that stuff. And that I tend to kind of live in the grind and do my daily work and kind of go through my daily practices and all that stuff. Uh, some of the releases that I've had for my external expression of my emotions has been in the past commuting, driving, uh, and, and listening to music or listening to a podcast or even recording a podcast in the car. And, uh, there's something, I don't know what it is about being in the car. There's something private about it. It's like you're by yourself, even though there's other people around you driving, you still feel like you're alone. You're, you're protected, uh, psychologically. So there's this feeling of, of singing in the car and expressing yourself in the car and maybe even talking to yourself and working out thoughts. Like you're in transit, you're in a situation where it's not as easy to distract yourself other than, you know, listening to something, but you might get sick of music or sick of podcasts. And sometimes I talk to myself in the car. I don't know if you've ever done that, but when there's extended opportunity to be in the car, that provides an opportunity to really be with yourself in a way that is easier to avoid these days than ever. I used to love road trips for that reason. I drove across the country twice on my return from the West coast. I drove by myself. So I did five days, 10 hour days driving by myself across the country, which is still one of my personal favorite achievements in my life. And there are plenty of moments where you're driving across the country and there's radio silence. Like you can't, at the time there was not, uh, easy access to, um, online material. And also you just use, you just lose signal. And I remember the phone that I had at the time didn't have a lot of capacity to download music and all of that stuff. So I'd spend a lot of time just looking at nature and hearing the cars go by and, talking to myself or thinking to myself. And even as an INTP, even as an introvert, it's very easy to not give yourself the time to be with yourself and talk to yourself and introspect, right? Introversion does not automatically mean introspection. Introversion can sometimes not be the correct kind of introversion that's going to fill your cup. Sometimes it's a uh, uh, Sometimes it's, it's needing an expression. Uh, uh, sometimes it's just specific types of introversion. And what I'm trying to say here is that while I feel like I get plenty of using my introversion for my work, there's, I'm not giving myself enough quality introversion. And on the flip side, I'm not getting enough quality extroverted expression, not getting getting means I'm expecting the outside world to give it to me. I'm not giving myself enough opportunities. Like there are people who ask me to get on calls with them and talk to them all the time. And I deny that constantly. I sort of push that away. And for me, you know, as an INTP extroverted feeling is my inferior function. It's my way of, 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 of connecting and building rapport with people. And 
I've talked about a lone wolf mentality in the past. Like I keep people at arm's length and I still very much do. Um, and I'll use whatever excuse necessary. Sometimes I'll talk about, um, sometimes I'll use like, you know, professional distance as an excuse or I'll use, uh, time or energy or whatever. Right. And I'm always amazed at the capacity to which I can take on extroverted feeling. There is very much a limit, but there's also very much a awareness brewing that I'm just not getting enough on a regular basis. Not meaning that I need to do it a lot more every day, meaning that it's really just like, it's like exercising. Most of us need to exercise like 20 minutes a day to get the bare minimum of what it is that we need to do. And plenty of us don't do that, and myself included. And this feels like the case with my inferior function, with extroverted feeling, with connection, with, with expressing myself. I'm not giving myself the 20 minutes to do that. And there's really no excuses, you know? And I, I mean, I connect with my wife, I share things with her, um, but there's a reciprocity rapport. She's an ENFP, it's not, it's not the same. She goes to other people to get different needs met and I go to other people to get different needs met. But I'm not going to the people that I need to get those needs met from. And I'm not giving myself that opportunity. So I'm kind of expressing this out loud for not only accountability's sake for you, from you listening, but perhaps thinking about how your life has shifted in the last few years. And if that has taken away something from you that you have, you used to automatically have in your life without realizing it. And, um, that's an interesting thing to think about. You know, some of us, some of us are able to navigate life in a way where what we need is just there, you know, whether that's resources or connections or whatever, it just happens to be that our track in life and what we've created and what we've put into our lives has everything that it needs. And often what we don't give ourselves is what's in like what personality hacker calls in the backseat of the car, our inferior functions, our, our 10 year old or, or three-year-old cognitive functions. In my case, extroverted feeling is something I'm not really giving myself enough of, of, especially in lieu of focusing on, you know, work and grinding it out and all of that. So there's this area that I'm feeling that I need to give myself a little more attention to. That includes expressing myself. Like sometimes this podcast has been a bit of a beacon for that. You know, I love hearing people's stories. I love hearing uh, what's going on. But also at the same time, I know that there's still a low quality version of this that I'm getting right now that I'm needing to embrace getting on calls with people. I'm needing to embrace going to meet up with people. I'm needing to embrace more in-person connections as well and needing to make some of those changes. And that when I do have really strong connections with an extroverted feeling person, it really highlights something in me that's just like, oh, I've been missing this part of me, right? And it doesn't mean a criticism of existing relationships. It doesn't mean that what I have is not enough. It means that I'm not giving myself more of what I specifically need to round it all out, right? And it wouldn't be fair for me to expect that of my partner. I don't think that's fair for anybody to expect their partner to be their entire everything, right? That's dependence. That's not great. And so I personally need to do a better job of stretching myself to allow for more relationship nurturing in my life on an everyday basis. So that's all I really wanted to share right now. Cause I just felt like that's what I needed to process. And when I process things, sometimes I share them on the podcast because that's something that might be helpful and useful to you, especially if you're an INTP fellow INTP that listens to my work. So, um, that's all for now. I appreciate you. I've been writing on let's go see notes.substack.com sharing some thoughts, doing some premium posts there too, if you're interested in that. And then also happychemicals.org. I have some INTP related courses and things like that. So that's it for now. I'm Christian. See you later.